My brother and mother as horses. They sit at a green plastic table with me after all these years, enjoying a pot of tea in May sun. I stand up to paw, ignoring that they are horses. How else would they return? My brother still wears the blue noose, now loosened like a hippie necklace, drawing attention to the deep ridged cuts under his chin, like a tree trunk sawn by an amateur. I try not to stare. I couldn't grasp hold of the rope with these hooves. Once I jumped, it was too late. He waves them about, knocking his teacup out of its saucer. I grab a napkin, mopping up. No use crying over spilt milk. A silence follows, lit by the white flood of his skin, shining through close-cropped fur. My mother, a blood bay, is shy, her forelock flopping over her forgive-me eyes. I say, I'd love to see more of your face. She thrusts her black muzzle into the cleft of my torso and arm, and I feel her warmth for the first time since she drank that poison. Her trembling mouth tugs the highwayman's hitch in my ribs, which I've had since you left me three months raw to the world, chewing my thumb to its bone. That knot, which I pull tighter and tighter, lets go with a slip, a fall. They both reach out to catch me, but I'm the only one with hands. The tea set wobbles, as if a steeplechase is passing. <laughs>